The Key is a program that provides Royal Caribbean guests with premier access to exclusive experiences during their cruise vacation. Determining whether the key is worth the cost will depend on how you value each of the experiences. In this video, we'll look at the benefits of the key and also how you can calculate whether the benefits are worth the cost to you. So let's start by looking at the benefits you get with the key. So the first one is priority access into the terminal on day one. What this means is that there's a dedicated line at the terminal similar to the line for pinnacles and also for suite guests, as well as a dedicated waiting area in the terminal while you're waiting to board. Next is the carry-on drop-off in the main dining room with stateroom delivery. And what this means is that you can leave any carry-on luggage that you don't want to take around with you on the ship and it will be delivered to your stateroom when the staterooms are opened. On embarkation day, there is also an exclusive welcome lunch in the main dining room featuring a limited chops grill menu. As a key guest, you also get private time and onboard activities including rock climbing, flow riding and more. You will receive a schedule of the activities in your cabin on embarkation day. Which activities have key sessions and how many sessions and when they will be will vary from ship to ship. You also get priority departure at tender ports of call from ship to shore which means you can go directly to the tender at whatever time you want, rather than get an allocated time. The key also entitles you to VIP access at shows in the main theatre, Aqua Theatre, Studio B and 270. At the venues, there are reserved seats that are only available to suite guests, Diamond Plus and Pinnacle members, and key guests. You are also entitled to one Voom Surf and Stream device package per paying guest, which is probably the most valuable part of the key package. And finally, on disembarkation day, you can enjoy an exclusive a la carte breakfast in the main dining room and also depart the ship at your own leisure. So what is the financial value of the key? Well, some of the benefits of the key have monetary value, while other benefits are intangible. Here's a list of the benefits that you could purchase independently of the key, which are included in the key. A lunch at Chop's Grill costs $30 for an adult and $13 for a child. The Surf and Stream internet package can cost anywhere between $17 and $25 a day, and a private session on the Flow Rider will cost $340 per hour. And the key itself can vary from $19 a day up to $36 a day. The prices are for illustration purposes only as the prices will change over time, as well as from ship to ship and during sales. So let's calculate the value of the key. The internet is probably the deciding factor as to whether the key is worth it or not. If you want or need the internet while on the cruise, and the daily price difference between buying the internet package and the key is a few dollars, the key is a good purchase. If the difference is over $10 a day, the key is less worthwhile. If you don't plan on using the internet during the cruise, and you don't plan on using the flow rider, it's reasonably clear that the key has limited value, and we would not recommend purchasing it. Similarly, if you want to use the internet and you want to use a flow rider, it's a no-brainer. We would definitely recommend purchasing the key. If you're a Diamond Plus or Pinnacle Club member of the Crown and Anchor Society, you'll already have a number of the benefits afforded by the key. For most cruisers with these statuses, the key would have limited value, although for some cruisers, it still makes sense. So let's start by just looking at the internet. So let's assume the key costs $26.99 a day, and the internet costs $16.99 a day, then you're paying $10 extra to have the key. Over the week, you'd be looking at $188.93 for the key, $118.93 for just the internet, which is a difference of $70. So from just an internet perspective, the internet costs $70 more if you're using the key than if you don't have the key. Now let's assume that you don't have the key, but you want the internet and you want to have lunch at Chop's Grill, the calculation would be $30 for Chop's Grill, $118.93 for the internet, coming out at a total of $148.93. As you can see, if you combine Chop's Grill and the internet, you're approaching the price of what the key costs. Now let's assume that you don't have the key, but you want to have the internet, you want to go to Chop's Grill for lunch, and you want to hire the flow rider for one hour during your cruise, you're looking at $118.93 for the internet, $30 for Chop's Grill, and $340 to hire the flow rider. That comes out at $488.93, which is significantly more than $188.93 that you'd pay to have the key. Now you're not guaranteed to have the flow rider to yourself, you will be sharing it with other key guests, 
but we have on several occasions had the flow rider to ourselves for the whole flow rider session, making the key a fantastic investment from our side. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel.